converting between compound units advanced. A parachutist speed during free fall reaches 144 miles per hour. Okay, so that's my beginning rate here. Uh, and my first question is, what is this speed in feet per second? Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two says, at this speed, how many feet will the parachutist fall during 20 seconds of free fall? Okay, and then they give me a little help here. Okay, some information I'm going to need. In your computations, use the fact that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Do not round your answers. So my beginning rate is 144 miles per one hour, or 144 miles every one hour. And I'm going to write this as a ratio. And then I'm going to use this conversion information here. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet, okay, to help change my miles into feet, because I want to end in feet per second. So feet as my units in the numerator or on top, second as my uh, units or down here in the bottom, in the denominator, okay? So miles per hour into feet per second. So first, I'm going to put this in as a second ratio. Okay, I'm going to multiply by my conversion ratio here. So one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. Since miles is in the numerator in my starting rate or unit here, I'm going to put the one mile in the denominator here so that these units, you can think of them as, as algebraic entities and count, cancel them out. So the 5,280 feet will go in the numerator or on the top. Now my units are feet per hour. I'm still not there yet because I want feet per second. So now I need to change this hour unit into seconds. So I'm going to add some more ratios here. Okay, now they didn't tell me this, but I know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So I'm going to put the one hour up here. So again, those two will cancel, one on top with one on bottom, and 60 minutes in the denominator. Okay, now the only units I have left are feet per minute. Not quite there yet. I need feet per second. So I'm going to put in one more ratio, okay, changing minutes to seconds. Well, I know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. And I'm putting the one minute on top so that it'll eliminate or cancel with that one, leaving seconds. Now I have feet as my only unit left in the numerator and seconds as my only unit left in the denominator, feet per second. So now I just need to do the calculations. So I need 144 times 5,280 or 760,320 in my numerator. Okay, in the denominator, I have 60 times 60, which is 3,600. So, final answer, I just need to take this 760,320 and divide by 3,600. So, divided by 3,600 gives me 211.2. So, my final answer is... 211.2 uh, feet per second. Okay, that's my first answer to the first question. Now I'm going to use this rate to figure out the second one. At this speed, how many feet will the parachutist fall during 20 seconds of free fall? Well, I'm already in feet per second, right? How many feet will they fall in 20 seconds? So this is my correct rate here. So 211.2 feet every second times 20 seconds of free fall. And I'll just put that over one to keep my numerators and denominators lined up. So the seconds cancel out 
and I'm left with just feet, which is the answer to the question, how many feet? So I'm gonna do 211.2 times 20 in the numerator. So take my previous answer times 20, gives me 4,224 feet. And I just have one times one in the denominator. All my units canceled out in the denominator, so I can just leave that off. And answer to my second question is 4,224 feet.